Here at Sirius, we specialize in measuring physical chemical properties of drugs. That's properties like pKa values, log p values, solubility, dissolution rates. And these are useful in trying to decide what molecules are going to do in, in the human body. Not their effect as drugs, but things like will they be absorbed, will they be transported around the body, will they stay in solution, will they be precipitate out, things like this. You need to know that because you could waste an awful lot of time developing molecules with unsuitable properties which would just never make it as drugs on the market. This is the real heart of the technology, the thing that took us several years to develop. And in here is a lot of very important parts. We'll start with this one at the front with the white cap. This is a pH electrode. This is one of the smallest pH electrodes ever made. It's made specially for us and we need very accurate measurement during these titrations in very small volumes. Also in here we have a stirrer you can see at the left hand side with the brass top and the little piece at the bottom. That's a stirrer. We can stir up to 10,000 RPM or down to very slow speeds, all computer controlled, stirring during the experiment to mix the sample and titrants and the octanol. Um, then on the right hand side we have this ceramic. You can see it looks a grey colour with a brass thing on the top. This ceramic contains six tubes brought from these six dispensers. Each of these tubes carries a liquid and dispenses it into the solution during measurement and these do the job of a burette in a normal titration experiment except that these have very small volumes. The smallest volume we can get from one of these dispensers is four ten thousandths of a milliliter. It's a tiny little volume, hard to visualize how small it is. Well, also in here we have this probe. This is an ultraviolet dip probe. This brings ultraviolet light through a tube, puts it onto a quartz mirror, bounces it back, and it can look at changes in light absorbed during the experiment. All of these components, plus a couple more, these are required during the measurements we make, but these work very well, and they are now to be found in laboratories all over the world who are using this technology for drug physchem property measurement.